Hey friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mimi and this is Budget With Me. And on today's video, I do have a couple of releases for you guys. Um, I have been working on a lot of products, but if you guys have been with me with my releases, I am very particular about my products. And if they don't turn out the way I envision them, I'm not releasing it. I'm not gonna have acid. No. <laughs> so I do have some products that I do like and I am going to release. So this video is gonna be a pretty short video. It's a total of three types of products, but it's multiple of some of them. So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and get into is I have finally figured out why I feel like I'm missing somebody. Maybe I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm not missing anybody. I finally figured out the cutout situation. If you guys have been with me for a while, I have been trying to figure out how to get my cutouts uh, laminated. And I have finally figured out a solution for that. So they are now laminated, which was something that I really wanted to happen. Um, they are not laminated in glossy lamination, so they won't have any type of glare to them. But they are laminated for you guys. So, first up, you guys have seen this bear before. This was the one that I showed. So, this is it. These are my tester products. Let me just show you. <laughs> first, it came out too small. Like, it was just kind of tiny. And then this was the one that is not laminated. So as you can see, it can bend very easily. This one, it can still bend, but not as easy. Um, this one is just strictly cardstock paper. This one's laminated. So I figured out that issue. So now we have the bear. We have a cup of coffee, because you guys know I love coffee. <laughs> so I made one that is a cup of coffee. I have this cute little penguin. Oh wait, why am I not showing it to you guys this way? I have this cute little penguin. I do have the amounts of how much they save on them. Um, I think I'm gonna look into getting some smaller scratch off stickers for like the next release for these, just so I can add a little bit more to the pages, but we'll see. I have this fox. So the, the next three are winter themed. So the fox is winter themed, the penguin is winter themed because the fox has a little scarf on. This one is, I don't think I said, this one is worth 75. So this is the biggest one, I think. Um, this one is worth 45. The penguin is worth 40. The fox is worth 50. And then lastly is this other little bear. He is so cute. You can't really tell with the scratches on, but once you scratch them off, you go, you'll be able to see his image. Um, he is worth 45 as well. So these are a part of the new releases. These are gonna be my um, scratch out cutout collection. Um, so this is gonna be something that I'm gonna be incorporating in probably every release I'm gonna try to do it in every single release but it'll definitely be in this release next up we have something that you guys have seen before not from my shop specifically but you've seen them around um, I know a couple budgeters that make these I have been toying with this idea for over a year to do these and have just never done them um, and then I just I was like, let's get into it. Let's do it. Why not? So I have made my own set of, let me set these all to the side. My own little sets of magnetic bookmarks. So this is the little card that is going to come on. Um, this is a little, um, what are those things called? Gingerbread house. <laughs> I can't think of what they're called. So this is a gingerbread house. And I'm toying with the idea of making these a little bigger. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if these should be bigger, if they, or this size is pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. So that's the first one. Again, some of these are um, themed around this specific holiday, which is Christmas. Then we have this little reindeer. He is, I bent him. Ignore how he looks because I bent him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I bent him pretty bad. Okay, so this is the reindeer that we have. He is a Christmas themed reindeer. 
next up this one is not winter themed this is uh, another little dabbing dog if you guys are aware of the little dab dog that i have on here i found another one who is just as cute um so i decided to make him into a cutout as well for a magnet bookmark um let's do a little sloth i love this sloth i think i have a i might not have it up here but i i think i have this sloth on something else or maybe I just have him somewhere. But yeah, I have this sloth. He's really cute. I'm going to do a bunch of these. I just have to print some more. But let me know what you guys think about the size of these. Then I have this little ghost. I know he is so far out because Halloween has already passed. But he does have a cup of, ch of, of chocolate or you can say coffee. Hot chocolate coffee, whichever. Um, but that's the theme that I was going with with that one next up we have this little cat who's drinking boba boba tea so that's that one and then these are for my book girlies so this one just says just one more chapter i also have another book theme one it has adventures await in books so i thought that this one was really cute and let me do another one that isn't christmas themed so this is just a little cow i just picked him because i think he's so adorable like this cow is so freaking cute so that is the cow and then we have guys i don't even know what all of this stuff is <laughs> like i i want to say i know what this is it's like some type of biscuit but i'm not 100 percent sure but this is a cup of hot chocolate with some stuff in it because i don't know the exact names of those things but that is that one and then we have a uh, another sloth but this one is christmas themed so he has his little present and his mistletoe and then lastly we have an avocado which is also christmas themed um for the season so that is all of the bookmarks that i'm going to be releasing with this release um let's just put the bookmarks over here let's put them over yonder and then let's get into the more important thing my 2025 savings challenge book i was working hard on this one guys because this is something that i honestly have not done before so i kept scrapping ideas bringing new ideas in and i think i like what i have okay <laughs> i don't think i have ever done such a colorful cover for a book ever so because of the pink splatter i wanted to call this one a collection so it is called the collection savings book and this is going to be my 2025 savings book we start here on this page this is a payday savings now i have something very similar to this one that is um listed as a digital download the only thing is i added in another box here so how this one works is every day that you get paid you'll determine how much you want to save for that day you can either save the date or you can save any amount that you would like it's really up to you on how you want to do this payday savings one but i figured this could be a year-long um savings challenge something similar to like the 52 week challenge um that goes along with your paydays next up is even versus eyes now this is where this will come in you will get two dice with um this chat this book because you do need dice and um there will be two different fees so there's gonna be one will just have the book the other one will have the book with the deck of cards and the two dice it'll have two separate prices now the price isn't gonna be outrageous it's gonna be a five dollar difference um between the two but we have even versus odds so on this one you're gonna play in rounds and in order to play this challenge let me zoom in for you guys a little bit you will have to pay to play so you're gonna have to determine how much you want to pay each round you want to play you're gonna roll one dice and you'll have to guess if that number will be even or odd now if you're correct you're only gonna scratch off one of these and you can decide which one you want to scratch 
if you are incorrect you will have to scratch off both the numbers underneath these are between 1 and 20 i believe 20 is the highest number i'll double check but i'm pretty sure i didn't go higher than 20. this challenge here is called i'm sorry guys if i start sniffling um me and the kids are sick again <laughs> surprisingly yeah we're sick again um i don't know where this cold came from but yeah we're pretty sick which is why i haven't been able to just finalize things that need to get done because i just don't feel well so i did want to get this done because today is actually thanksgiving so this video was supposed to come out today but it's gonna come out early black friday morning which is when the release the not the release the sale is gonna begin as soon as i get this video edited and it posts that sale is gonna be active these products are gonna be active everything's gonna be active <laughs> so just know that that i'm trying to get all of this done tonight before i go to bed all right so down by the shore this is just a coloring saving challenge you'll determine what each one of the icons will equal up to and then you'll just color the icons accordingly i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna fix this because i realized that these are kind of out of order because i changed the way i did this challenge i changed it up so i'm gonna fix these icons these aren't gonna look like this in the final version they're gonna be in order so the ball will be here the shell will be here the umbrella the beach chairs and yeah the hat because that's gonna drive me crazy <laughs> all right and this challenge can either be used for birthdays or christmas i was thinking more along the lines of christmas so this challenge is very different from anything that i've done so you have a total of seven different present colors and then you'll have to determine how much each one of them will be worth and then you'll scratch off and then you'll save that amount so nobody's savings will be the same for this one so which is why i don't have any amount that you will save on here or anything like that just because everybody will have a different amount all right then we have buzzing around so you guys have seen um a similar challenge to this one i have the for the love of chocolate um, I made this one very similar, except this one is with bees. So the total, without doing any of the extras, is $219. That is what you'll save. So you'll start here at the beginning, and then you'll end here down at the end. So you can either go all the way around to save the $200 plus, or you can just go around one time, and what you save, you'll be done with it. Next up is what's in your bank so this one does have plus plus signs minus signs and multipliers which is why it's a 100 plus challenge um so you'll scratch a number and it'll either have a number 1 through 15 or it'll have some type of rule and then you can either roll a dice or you can scratch another number it's completely up to you but if you don't have any other regular numbers i would say roll a dice so if you roll on like I don't know for sure if I have this under here. If you roll on like a times five, you can either roll a dice to determine which will times five or you can scratch again. Completely up to you. And then we have for the love of coffee. I just had to put a coffee challenge in here. I felt like it wouldn't have been right if I hadn't. Let me zoom out a little bit. So I don't need these. <laughs> So for the love of coffee, so for each icon, there are eight icons and there are eight scratchers total, right? Or there are seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? There's eight. Okay, no, there's eight. I can't count. <laughs> um so there's eight icons, there's eight scratchers. So for this one, you will roll a dice. So again, you will receive the dice for that. And then you'll um you'll scratch one of the scratch offs and then under each one of them there's a different rule to follow and then you just put inside of the box how much you've actually saved now this challenge is where the cards come in so again you have to pay to play and this one's going to be 20 rounds so for the um not the suited cards what are they called i can't think right now but the jack king queen um jokers for those cards you have to determine how much you want those to be so what you'll do is you'll shuffle your deck of cards you're going to draw one card you're going to guess whether or not the next card will be higher or lower if you're if you're correct 
add the two cards and save the amount. If you're incorrect, scratch a sticker. They're one through five. But you do have to choose your amounts for the face cards because obviously the, the cards are only one through nine. And then there's the face cards. So you have to determine how much the face cards will be. Um, but I think that's all I wanted to say. I'm having a brain fog, guys, because I'm really not feeling well. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice. I'm really trying to not sneeze and sniffle too much. But yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, the, the way it works is if you guess that the card is higher and you get it right, you just add the two cards together, save them out. If you're wrong, you scratch the scratcher. And then you just keep going until you get all the way to 20. Now you can just go ahead and scratch every single one of them if you want. That'll be extra savings. I didn't put how much this will be worth because you do have to determine your own amounts up here. And then we have a regular color and save challenge. Um, I do enjoy the coloring challenges. So I only did one through nine on here. Um, and then you'll just keep going. So there are 15 total of each number for a total savings of $675. If I added everything right. <laughs> and you guys know my books wouldn't be my books without some type of scratch and save challenge. So we do have a scratch and save here. And this one will look a little different once you start scratching underneath it. You guys will see what I mean once you get it and you start scratching or you watch my videos and I start scratching. Um, but I did print this on regular um, 110 pound cardstock just because these challenges aren't really coloring challenges. Um, so I'm debating on putting it onto a thicker cardstock just because some of them are coloring challenges. So you do have to be mindful of that. Uh, that it could bleed through depending on what type of markers you use and how saturated those markers are so i may print this on a thicker cardstock just because i do have some of those coloring challenges in here but we'll see so yeah, this one will come with the deck of cards and the dice if you purchase that version and then again all my little scratchers are coming up we have all the scratch, uh, not scratchers. Um, that's not even what I meant to say. Uh, I ordered some different um magnets because I don't really like these. These are okay, but I don't like them. So I can take this one off here. We have our book, we have our magnets, and we have our cut off scratchers so that is the releases for this month guys these will be a part of the black friday sale i will not make you guys pay full price for these um no details on the black friday sale let me get that okay so details on that i don't know exactly how long we're going to do the sale um i'll determine that after the video the sale is going to start on friday at no specific time um, but it will begin today because you guys will see this video today. Now, a couple different things that are going to go on on this sale for my planners. My planners are going to be heavily discounted. I do have two versions of my planner. One has minor damage. One has major damage. The ones that have minor damage are going to be marked down to $15. The ones who have major damage are going to be marked down to $10. My A5, 6, and 7 binders are all going to be marked down. My A5s are going to be marked down to $20. A6, $15. And A7s, $10. Now, this is until supplies last, guys. I'm just trying to get rid of these off of my shelves because I won't be restocking them for quite a while. Um, so, I need to get rid of a lot of things out of my office. And then, other than that, all of the rest of my products, aside from Oops products, will be marked down 30%. Um, digital downloads will be marked down 15% and there will be free shipping for orders over $120. So that is the rules of this giveaway. Not, not giveaway. <laughs> I need to add that. I need to add, um, oh my gosh, guys, I cannot think. I need to remember to add the free shipping one on there because that one I don't have planned out. So I need to make I need to write myself a note to make sure I do that because I decided to do that one last minute. 
but guys that is the end of this release i really hope that you guys enjoyed this release i really hope that you guys like the products that i released so far there will be more products being released next month i'm just i i can't do it guys between school and kids and being sick and them being sick i just i physically cannot do it i tried i can't i have to give my body some rest um see this one I like these they keep popping up i don't like those i'm gonna get the i have the little black ones in here i'm gonna get the little um like i got these i'm gonna order the so when you guys receive these they're gonna have a different one because i'm pretty sure i can get them in like two days um i'm gonna get the little silver ones they they're way better i've used them before on something else and they stick way better than these um i don't really like these <laughs> but anyways when you guys receive them they won't have that one they will have the silver ones in it but anyways guys i'm rambling that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoy all of the products um i hope you guys enjoy the sale i hope you guys enjoyed your thanksgiving and that's all i have for you guys so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye friends